Hello everyone, my name is Bing Lee. I am an assistant professor at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Western University in Canada. My research interests span fracture processes, induced seismicity, acoustic emissions, and image processing, both at the field and the lab scale, uh, with a focus on experimental rock mechanics. Today, in this video, I'll be talking about two representative publications, um, which I believe span sort of the, the end members of my body of work. The first study I wanted to discuss is an experimental investigation into hydraulic fracturing processes conducted on granite, where we're showing the raw images in this bottom image in the top row, and where the granite is representing um, reservoir rocks in geothermal energy extraction, as well as in opalinous clay shale, shown on the bottom row here, where the shale is representing um, a typical reservoir rock for unconventional oil and gas extraction. And the main objective of this study is to generate these hydraulic fractures in these rock specimens um, by injecting fluid into a pre-cut notch in the rock, uh, which is set up as a prismatic specimen, and then use a what is effectively a high sampling rate microscope to observe in real time the formation of microcracks, um, and from which we can observe or which we can determine the displacements and the strains, which are shown um, in the top row here for the granite, where the arrows are representing the displacements and the contours representing the principal strain. And then in the bottom row for opalinous shale, where again the arrows are representing displacements and the contour map is representing um, strains. And simultaneously to these imaging measurements, we are also observing um, acoustic emissions, which are equivalent to micro seismic events through, as these microcracks are propagating. Um, where in the field, all that we have are these micro seismic events. And we wanted to get a better sense of sort of how these uh, micro seismic events, which is data that we do get in the field, compared to the actual propagation of these microcracks, which is something that we do not have available in the field. And so one of the most interesting results from this study is that for the granite, we see the propagation of these on echelon shear microcracks, even in the failure mode of a hydraulic fracture, which is represented in the acoustic emissions with a large number of double couple events, which are analogous to um, sort of microcracks, which are dominant in shear. And so there's a good agreement between the imaging and the acoustic emission results. And then for the opalinous clay shale, we see that the microcracks are more so propagating sort of in a classic tensile fracture um, orientation where the cracks are parallel to the maximum principal stress. And uh, again, this is reflected in the acoustic emissions shown in the bottom right two panels here, where we see a larger proportion of non-double couple of elements. That is, we have um, more so the formation of micro tensile cracks. The second study concerns the Raft River geothermal plant, which has been operating in southern Idaho since around 2007 and has observed induced seismicity since around 2011. Our study is focused on developing a geomechanical model for the pore pressures and pore elastic stress changes uh, relating to the injection and extraction of fluids under this plant. Um, and this model is calibrated by comparing and matching the observed surface displacements, which is shown in the top left panel here, with our modeled surface vertical displacements, which are shown in the bottom left panel here. Then with our calibrated geomechanical model, we can then gain a sense of the fault slip potential, shown here as a coulomb failure stress change in the contour in the middle. And with this, we determine that the induced seismicity observed here is primarily related to the pore elastic stress changes induced by um, the injection of cold fluids in the um, shadow layer overlying the basement. With that, I thank you for your attention, and please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or comments. I can be reached at the email shown on the screen. Thank you.